So we just celebrated 12 years of being in a relationship together. 12 years. Yes. So we wanted to share with you all 12 relationship tips to add longevity in your relationship. So let's talk about it. Cheers to 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure where he was going with that, but hey, this is this we're is, gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna keep it rolling. Man, this just, is what relationships are about, spontaneity, because I had no idea what he, where he was going with that one. <laughs> okay. So cheers to 12 years, babe. Uh, cheers, babe. This whole video, we just really want to hone in on the fact of longevity really yes. matters and real love is really out here. So we're gonna give 12 tips today in today's episode. It's gonna be quick tips so that we get you the right information yeah. and then in future videos we're going to dive into each tip more in depth but we yeah. just want to give you the points but as far as these 12 years wow yes. like time flies we have grown and learned so much along the way and i think it's beautiful that we are creating this video right now where we're sharing 12 relationship tips that really helped us be able to maintain a relationship and have this longevity and right. so i'm excited <clears throat> to share these tips with our followers which point did you want to start off with well before we get into that i had to lower the laptop because i wanted to see if you could see i had to show off these flowers i got <laughs> my lady a dozen roses for a dozen years yes it was it was very very sweet very thoughtful and it was a nice surprise because you know, it's the little things like that that I think really adds that depth in a relationship. All right, so, All let's, right, so let's, let's get let's, into let's it. Let's get let's straight get into, into it. So, 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 you wanna go? You wanna, you wanna get into it? I'll let you start All with right, the okay. first point. So the first point that we really, I mean, there's no particular order with this, but mm -hmm. this is one that we often talk about. If, if you've been subscribed to our channel, you know that we always talk about effective, healthy communication. Yes. Communication is, is, is huge. You have to have good communication. Mm -hmm. And that could be, I mean, it kind of goes into a couple of the other points that we have on the list, but. Yeah, it, it just allows you to be on the same page with your partner. And then if you're not on the same page, having that communication to come to a happy balance or a happy medium so that you guys are in sync with each other. And in order to do that, you have to communicate. Amen. The next point that I'm going to cover is honesty. Mm. And honesty is so huge in a relationship because it adds authenticity in your relationship. Having no secrets yeah. in a relationship adds a level of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And you also just want to be in a relationship knowing that your partner is being truthful to you. Yeah. Um, so having honesty in a relationship is vital. 100%. Now, the next point that and we, we told you, we're going to go through these points quick because we don't want to make this video too long. Mm -hmm. um, but every point that we do hit today, we're going to go into a more in-depth video. So stay tuned, stay subscribed to our channel. Yes. But right now we're going into the third point, and that is trust. Ooh. Trust. And that kind of goes hand in hand with the honesty mm -hmm. and healthy communication. Yes. So these first three points really kind of can be clumped together, mm -hmm. but they're all separate in their own right. Yeah. And trust, like you've got to know that you can trust your partner. You've got to feel that security with that your security, partner. security, yeah. So the security part of just knowing like you don't really have to worry about your partner, like mm -hmm. going through his, his phone or going through her phone or mm -hmm. where he's at at 11 o'clock at night. Like mm -hmm. you don't, you want to be able to have that trust in yeah. your relationship. Yeah. And trust takes time too yes. it's not something that you just you just get you just have on the first day of your relationship exactly. or even the first year of your relationship it, it takes has to, constant work it has yeah. to be built and the, yes. and the crazy thing is it can be broken down with one bad mistake or something yeah and same thing with but us. you can also repair it with communication yeah. and mm -hmm. honesty um and so it's very um i'm glad that you said that because trust is not just thrown out there like trust takes work it has to be earned it's right. not one of those things where you you automatically get that and in order to develop a deeper level of trust with your partner it takes work yeah. and it takes the communication it takes the honesty and it takes some of the other points that we're going to dive into yeah. 
to, to develop that, that true security, um, within yourself and also with your partner. Amen. And, mm -hmm. and I, I can say like these first three points, healthy communication, honesty, and trust, they're huge things, but it's, it's also things that we had to get better at too, because it wasn't all there at the beginning of our relationship yep. either. So yep. we had to get to a place where we had that honesty, we had that trust and we had that yeah. healthy communication, but it doesn't start off that way. And definitely like being young and being immature, there's yeah. a lot of things that, you know, we didn't do the right way when we were yeah. in starting, our early twenties, yeah, just starting, starting out, out in our relationship. Yeah but we worked our way up to uh, a better standing in all yeah. of these categories. And that's why we put these on the list because we lived it yeah. and now we want to share it with you and yeah. how important it is to have these things. Yeah. So those are the first three. And, the I'm fourth, glad you, I'm, and I'm glad that you touched on that and said that we've made mistakes. We were young and dumb mm -hmm. because, and you know, had to learn because the next point that I'm going to get into is forgiveness. Mm. You have to know that you are going to make mistakes <clears throat> along the way or your partner may make mistakes along the way. And that can be on a scale. It doesn't mean it has to be super big or it can be very small. But you also have to for learn how to forgive in your right. relationship because nobody's perfect. Right. So there has to be room for forgiveness. Now, number five, it's a huge one for us and it's one that has really shaped our relationship to what it is now and mm -hmm. keep that longevity and keeping that spark. And that is having fun together. Yes. You've got to have fun yeah. with your partner yep. and just enjoy each other's time and enjoy each other's space mm -hmm. and having that quality time that involves fun. Like do things that are fun. Go Whatever bowling. That looks like. Go yeah. roller have skating. Have a game night. Go like, on a date. You yeah. know, just just finding things to keep it interesting and to keep it fun, to keep your partner smiling. And I guarantee you that you were having fun with your partner the first month, the first two months, maybe the first year. Mm -hmm. But then eventually a lot of relationships, they fall off on that fun aspect. And then things either get a little more serious or you just lose that that yeah. spark. But that spark has to continue to be there and that fun element yeah. has to continue to thrive. It's all it's, it's a balancing act. Yeah. It definitely is a balancing act. Exactly. And with balancing acts where you have your fun, at times you will have the opposite, which is conflict. Mm. And in a relationship, you have to learn how to navigate through that. And I'm not saying that what's going to keep the relationship going is conflict, but conflict resolution per right, se. Right. And understanding that when these problems do arise, how to have healthy dialogue in times of conflict, how to communicate when you guys aren't on the same page and having disagreements, because that is very vital in a relationship because you're not going to always agree on everything. And all of the points that we touched on earlier goes into helping you navigate when you have yeah. um, disagreements and stuff like that and being able to have healthy conflict resolution. Yeah. And this is a huge one for longevity mm -hmm. as well, because mm -hmm. conflict, like you said, mm -hmm. is bound to happen. Yeah. Definitely the longer that you're with this person. So you got to make sure that you're able to handle things amicably yes. and responsibly. Yeah. I, I love that amicably and responsibly. Now, number eight, travel, mm -hmm. travel the world together, yeah. experience unique situations mm -hmm. and unique experiences together. Yeah. Those memories that you create with your partner mm -hmm. are things that you'll always remember. Like yeah. I'll always remember being 21 years old, going to China, yeah, traveling around Shanghai, Beijing, Longzhou, Xi'an, <laughs> and then all the other places we've been to. But I just wanted to highlight that one because yeah. that one was very special. That was a and we were so experience. young to yeah. be able to do that. And yeah. like experiences like that, you never forget, but it also just adds that validity and that that power to your relationship that really has some long lasting yeah. effects mm -hmm. for just the, the memories that you yeah. created it's with creating that memories that last a lifetime right. honestly going into point number nine is intimate and deep conversations wow when i say that this is such um a great thing to incorporate in your relationship We've been together for 12 years, as we said, but having these type of conversations, we learn stuff about each other that we honestly didn't know before. Like we're constantly learning new things about each other on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's all because of having these intimate and deep conversations. We share stories from when we were five and 10 and 12 and it's like, oh, 
that's why you do certain right. things or, you and, know, so. And I just wanted to say one quick mm-hmm, point mm-hmm. on this. Having conversations about the past. Yes. The present. Yes. And the future, whether mm-hmm. that's together or individually, like yeah. the past about even before you guys even knew each yeah. other yeah. or the present about like what you guys want right now. Mm-hmm. And then the future of like, what do you want in the future? Do you want yeah. kids? Where mm-hmm. do you want to live? Having these conversations that are like, okay, how do we want our lives to look like five, 10 years down yeah. the line? And like, where do we want to be? And, and, yeah. and having those conversations that really get deep into it. Mm-hmm. And you guys are really on the same page. Mm-hmm. And, and that kind of goes into the next point of being on the same page is the unity. Yes. The unity. The unity. And when I think of unity, like when people think of me, they think of Jen. Mm-hmm. And when they think of Jen, they think of me. And they even sometimes say, uh shen and jane and (laughs) shenny and shenny because they automatically put us together and that's what we that's what we like we want it to be like that having that togetherness and really being two people now becoming one yeah i really want to embody that and so do you i'd be remiss if i didn't say like what the opposite of unity is Mm -hmm. and that's not being together that's Mm -hmm. that's you guys being on two separate pages Mm -hmm. and long-lasting relationship won't last if one person is all the way over here with his thoughts and with his thinking with his actions Mm -hmm. and then the other person has completely different like let's say one person is is truly committed and really wants to like take it to the next level get married and just be together and then the other person is like on the fence and really just you know just play, like, oh, I'm just kind of having field. fun. I don't, like, I'm not really the as serious as you are. Yeah. Yeah. Both people have to be committed, have mm-hmm. to be united, have mm-hmm. to have that togetherness within themselves to say, hey, this is my person and this is who I want to spend the rest of my mm-hmm. life with. That's how you really build longevity. Yes. And without that, the unity truly won't be there. No. But that unity has to be there. And the next point is understanding seasons. There may be a point where your partner is not in the best season of their life in the moment and really understanding like how to be there for your partner and yeah. understanding that things, there will be ebbs and flows in a relationship and that and learning to understand how to get through that together and understanding when you may have to carry more of the load when your partner is going through this season of challenges right. and, and obstacles and things like that and vice versa. Right. And let's give a couple of like real life examples. Mm-hmm. Let's say, you lose your job yeah. or you have a death in your family. You, you lose your mother, your father, or, or you get sick or mm-hmm. you come down with a diagnosis that you really weren't expecting. There, there's going to be times in your life and, and circumstances mm-hmm. that really can set you back individually. Yes. That could also set back the relationship. Mm-hmm. But in those times of need from your partner, your partner has to be in the position to elevate you both yes and then you also have to be in the space where it's like even though there might be some difficult times going on in life for Mm -hmm. me or Mm -hmm. for us I know that this is the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with and you continue to elevate each other and that kind of goes into the last point that that I really want to make yes and that is such a good one too (laughs) (laughs) you like this one yeah you like this one yes and that is challenging each other. Yes. You have to continue to challenge each other. When one person might be lacking in something, you have to pick up the slack. So having a partner that is going to continue help, to push continue you, to Con- push you and to push encourage you. you and motivate you to reach your goals is so important. Health, wealth, love, happiness, and faith. Yes. I can challenge my wife in all of these areas, Mm -hmm. whether it's getting more healthy, Mm -hmm. you know, getting more fit, Mm -hmm. being better with finances, Mm -hmm. being better with the love connection that we have, Mm -hmm. finding better ways to bring happiness to yourself, meditating, reading Mm -hmm. things that are that are going to make you happy and faith. Yes. Continuing to believe in God, believe in the faith that we have in each other Mm -hmm. and just the faith overall of like saying there might be tough times that you might be going through, Mm -hmm. but rely on faith and just having that, that open dialogue of saying, these are the things that you could be focusing on and, and being a voice that she can listen to. Mm -hmm. All of those things are very important for challenging that partner to be like, okay, 
I can have a different perspective. Yes. I can I can do better in a certain area. And my husband, he has a lot of wisdom that he wants to share with me and vice versa. And Same vice thing versa. with my wife. Yeah. When she tells me like, hey, you could be doing this better or you could, you know, maybe you should think about doing this. I'm going to have a listening ear and say, okay, maybe I should. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe I could have a different perspective. And just having that open dialogue yeah. is very important. And that goes back to the first point, which is healthy communication. Healthy communication. So everything, all 12 of these points, really coincide with each other. Yes. And all of them are very important in their own right. And it's 12 years that we're celebrating in our relationship. So... We thought that we could bring you 12 points, 12 mm -hmm. relationship advice points that we believe are very important. So with that said, we are going to sign off for today. We really hope that you all enjoyed this content. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Mm -hmm. um, we do this every week where we are just giving our take on how to elevate your circumstances, how to really grow in your relationships. And with that said, I'm Jen. And I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. Enjoy the journey.